Let's welcome former acting director of National Intelligence. Look who's back with us, Rick Rennell. Rick, we love having you on. Look, Rick, we found this in the nearly $2 trillion COVID relief bill. It's a new per corporate America doesn't give. A nearly $600 million slush fund to give federal government workers more money for more paid time off to take care of their kids if their children can't get, can't get back in schools because schools are shut down. I mean, I haven't seen, we haven't seen anything like this. What do you think, Rick? I mean, look, let's be very clear about this last year. Uh, federal workers, I don't know a single federal worker in Washington, D.C., and somebody's going to challenge me on this, I'm sure, but I don't know a single one that didn't get paid uh, because of COVID. We have too many people in this country who have just spent a year struggling to pay their bills and to figure out how are they going to work? How are we going to make money? And if you work for the government, whether it's in Sacramento, whether it's in the, the nation's capital, you didn't have to worry about any of that. You continued to get paid and you got your COVID relief checks on top of that. You never had to worry about where your money was coming from. The idea that we're going to just make government bigger and not try to understand that the decisions to shut down the government uh, and to give people a little bit of uh, little checks, all of those decisions are done by people that never missed a paycheck through COVID. Think about that. They're making decisions about yeah, shutting shut down, down Gavin economy. Newsom, for instance. Yeah. He's shutting down the economy. He's never missed a paycheck. And none of his friends have missed a paycheck. But yet, you know, we still yeah. here in California are not able to go inside a restaurant and eat. Yeah, the bill is so sloppily written, it would let federal government workers get up to 21000 a year for not working, even if their child's student is not in college. So already nearly 80 federal government agencies give federal workers a month and a half time off paid. I mean, so I mean, so we're looking at this. We're astonished. And would you do? You probably saw the story about the Los Angeles Teachers Union telling and warning teachers: don't post images on your vacation if you're on spring break because we're still fighting to reopen schools until our demands are met. Your reaction to that story? The assumption is is that the teachers are going on spring break and going away from their home. Uh, that's what's ridiculous, is that in this chat group, there is this uh, literal assumption that we're all going to go take our, our spring breaks, go somewhere else, go on vacation because we don't have to be in the classroom. So just while you're doing that, make sure you keep up the facade that, uh, you know, you're not on vacation, so don't post any pictures. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a, a real joke that's going on. I, I think that going back to your previous story, Liz, you know, when we have a shrinking of the economy and a closing of the economy, we really need to think about, in the same vein, uh, trying to shrink government workers and the bureaucracy. If, if we don't have the same economy, if we don't have the same freedoms for the private sector, then it just goes without saying that government agencies should also have to kind of cut and constrict. That's, uh, that, that's just the practical aspect of having a government that serves the people. Yeah, it just feels like this tremendous insensitivity. The lockdowns put nine and a half million people still out of work. And we've got the media, we've got elected officials, you know, making all of these, these decisions about what to do when they're still getting paid, Rick. Your final word. Yeah, the media, the media continues to get paid. Um, look, we have a whole bunch of people that are thinking about just one aspect of the American people's health. They're not thinking about the mental health, and they're not thinking about the economic health of our society. What they're doing is just focusing on one aspect of the physical health. I think politicians have to think about the all-encompassing, comprehensive person. Our mental health, teen suicide is skyrocketing. Uh, Zoom school is not working. We need to have politicians that think broadly about the economic health. If you don't have an economy that's working, you're not going to have hospitals that are working. Yeah, that's a good point. Rick Rennell, come back. Come back soon. We love having you on. Always love your insights. Rick Rennell there. It's good to see you.